Caritas to the representation of the Council of Europe in Georgia, all diplomatic missions and the international organizations and diplomatic corps accredited in Georgia. The persecution of President Zviad Gamsahurdia and his family had started far earlier before he became a president of the Republic of Georgia, when he was struggling against the communist regime as a youngster. Only after the, his 35 year dissident struggle for his country's freedom on the legal basis of the Act of Independence of Georgia of 1918, he restored and declared the independence of Georgia on April 9, 1991. Soon the Republic of Georgia as an independent state was recognized by 60 countries of the world and the accompanying flag of the United States of America was flown over the U.S. Capitol for Zviad Gamsahurdia in recognition of his election as President of the Republic of Georgia and in recognition of the new Parliament's efforts to bring democracy to Georgia. In Georgia report on human rights practices for 1997-1998 of the U.S. Department of the State, the events that took place in 1991-92 were estimated as the military coup that overthrew the, uh, and ousted from the country the elected legal government of Zviad Gamsahurdia, president and the parliament of the Republic of Georgia. Zviad Gamsahurdia left Georgia together with his family, his spouse, Manan Archa, the Gamsahurdia, and his 11 and 13 year old children, Sodne and Georgi, who were ousted from Tbilisi, chased by guns and howitzers. Unfortunately, Georgia today faces more totalitarian regime of the active government rather than lead democratic ideas. President Gamsahurdia's family, after president's assassination by Shevardnadze's bloody regime in 1994, 1st January, returned to Georgia only four years later in 1998. From that time on, President Zviad Gamsahurdia's family is per permanently persecuted. The acting government of Georgia arrested President son, Sotne Gamsahurdia, with the false charge of espionage in 2008, but because of the lack of evidences, was released on bail. De facto government, not satisfied with this verdict, the next year, on October 27, 2009, fabricated a new charge of the attempt of intended murder of his neighbor, his friend David Bajelize, who was wounded by unknown persons with a fire, firearm. On the same day, was wounded Sotne Gamsahurdia with a heavy object. Somebody hit him from behind, what made him lose conscious. He was injured in the left back of the head and got the brain scalp trauma. What is most suspicious and curious, the investigation absolutely ignores this fact of Sotne's wounding. Though Sotne Gamsahurdia was taken by police to the University Medical Center, where he got medical aid, and the record about his medical aid should be kept in this center. In protest of his illegal arrest, Sotne Gamsahurdia started the hunger strike. He had been hunger striking for 38 days, nine days with dry starvation, demanding the, in the interrogation of injured David Bajelize, who with great violation, ignoring 18, uh, 110, 68 and other articles of the criminal court was interrogated only after Sotne Gamsahurdia's 38 day uh, hunger strike. On December 2nd, 2009, Bajelidze notarially, de notarially denied Sotne's connection with, this, uh, with his wounding. Sotne Gamsahurdia is innocent. The investigation could not obtain any evidence against him. They have no proofs that would confirm Sotnes' guilt. The demand of his hunger strike was to establish truth, and the investigation has not stirred a finger to do it. The facto government turns a blind eye on his hunger strike and public.
Kapilian to release the political prisoner to the Gamsa Khurdia. That's why after a small interval, he resumed starvation on December uh, 25. Uh, today it is the uh, 25th day uh, 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 James Day. His health is in extreme danger. 78 days plus 25. The human rights in Georgia are severely violated. The court and investigation is not free. It is under the pressure of Saakashvili's de facto government. <laughs> is the victim of Saakashvili's dictatorship. It is not an ordinary case. This is a political matter since it concerns the president's family and according to the constitution and the international law, president's families are to be protected. We hold the demand Saakashvili's de facto government to stop terror towards the Gamsa Khurdias and release unconditionally political prisoners to the Gamsa Khurdia. To ignore the hunger strike of the innocent person is a violation of human rights and is against the democratic ideals of the mankind. We hope for your assistance to support Sotne Gamsa Khurdia. The Supreme Council of the Republic of Georgia, the Round Table of Political Parties and Organizations of Georgia, Great National Union, Tbilisi, 19 January 2010. The uh, President of the United States, he addressed to Mrs. Nancy Patricia uh, D'Alessandro Pelosi, the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives, a member of the Democratic Party. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a sad month already that the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Georgia, Prosecutor's Office and the court bodies attempt by all means to leave me in imprisonment for maximum period of time. Above mentioned state bodies in Georgia are divided formally, but these structures are united in the business that takes place in the term of authoritarian regime, namely the investigation neglect objective flow of the case, interrogation of the witnesses, postponed by indefinite time uh, or does not interrogate at all witnesses and experts, rejects holding of investigation, expertise and depends on the evidences of the false witnesses, interested person, prosecutor closes eye on everything and does not perform function on the supervisor on the investigation that is pres prescribed to him by the law. As for the court, it rejects to review the justifying or contradicting versions of the investigation. Even fascist court would be in a voice of absurd, a logical resolution. In Georgia, totalitarian machine works with full capacity and only in one direction for flattery of the one person. To please me, Michael, Mikhail Saakashvili, I inform you that my current imprisonment, like last year's imprisonment, was determined by the private motivation, hatred towards me, and squaring of accounts with me. His Majesty does not forgive me, uh, firstly, that I have been, never been adherent to his authoritarian policy, that buried Georgian state system and civil society. Secondly, in spring of 2007, during the process of the rebellion of my father, the President of the Republic of Georgia, Sviat Gamsakhurdi has remains, I did not give him opportunity to receive political dividends and to make PR action at the expenses of the disease, the rate of food, according to the multi-service, 17 years later after his death, exists many times the rate of Saakashvili. Neil admirer, or in the other words, do not be surprised, say ancient Romans, indeed, there is nothing su surprising in the country where under the order of the high rank officers or uh, die of Georgia, they kill brutally young men in the wood and in a short time the president remits said his killers. In the state where state officers take part in so-called murder cases, after which they gain breathtaking career. Nowadays in Georgia, many prisoners serve their punishment for the uncertain accusation to them.
Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, Georgian society